All right, fellas. Wanted to show you this cam real quick. This is for the, uh, it's what's going in the LTD. It's a billet cam that my son had. It was done by uh, Jay Allen, Camshaft Innovations, for a guy over in uh, Louisiana. He ran it for a bit, and his 331, and uh, my son bought it from him when he changed his combination. My son ran it in his 94 Mustang with a 331. Ported AFR 165s that I did. Uh, those were in the video rod head about when we went over by uh, Pascagoula to the the guy with the uh, flow bench. I think they did about 285, 290, somewhere in there. Uh, with in my son's car, it made 420 at the wheels with a TFSR box upper. I'm going to have a Holley System Max, so it's not going to make the peak power that one did, but it will make more torque, which that car was going to need because it's like 3,600, 3,700 pounds with me in it. It's a full weight car, no fiberglass anywhere, uh, bumpers, you know, power steering, air conditioning, all that stuff. So anyway, it, it'll, it'll do fine, but it ain't, like I said, it ain't going to have nothing for the fail, fail TD. So when, when you go and buy a used cam, before you buy it, actually, you should have take video or pictures of the back because those are, if it's a custom or a comp or a crane, I'm not sure about bullet, but it'll have the uh, lobes on there, and you can see the the intake is a 3192. The exhaust is a uh, that glare is killing me. 3113F. You can go to the comp website, look for the master lobe library or master lobe catalog. All three have them. Cam, uh, crane cams, comp cams, and bullet all have the master lobe available. <clears throat> you can compare the specs on there. I like the way Bullet does it because they've got like all the durations that are similar in one spot. You know, like the 218 F50 will be all in one spot. Then over to the side, you got the lobe lift. And they categorize them too if it makes by a torque or a uh, what do you call it? The dwell, you know, the way the, lo the cam lobe is shaped. So the, and then they have RPM lobes. The RPM lobes are a little slower, but they'll rev more RPMs. Just because they're slower, you don't need such aggressive springs. So anyway, it's, that's kind of neat to compare that stuff. This is the cam plate. I got this from Ed Curtis at Flowtech Induction. This is modified for a billet cam. You need the uh, billet uh, timing set. On the back of the billet timing set, there, on the back of the t uh, cam gear, is a Torrington bearing that goes right here with these the recessed screws go in here. That's so the bearing can ride on it, but that little hole provides oil to the bearing, and this hole sp sprays oil on the back of the timing gear, the cam gear. And then I've also has used these. That's the one behind the uh, distributor gear. Put oil on that, because when you got a the distributor gear is turning, turning your oil pump. You know, if you got a, lot, you're having a, you know, the heavy springs and all that can affect your distributor wear some, some degree. So you want to make sure you got a good lube for that. Um, I just use this lube. You know, it's not like the B cam where I had to use the KY. This block ought to accept this pretty readily. Shouldn't be an issue there. So. Uh, I'm going to put this, throw this stuff together here, the oil pump, put the cam in, put the timing set on, uh, front cover, and then set this off to the side. I'm bringing the blue car in the garage to uh, put a line lock in it and uh, a couple other other little things, try to find out why it don't go straight. That's a little unnerving. i got to fix that. So, got to get after it. Later, fellas.